Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here to look at the current satellite and radar together. The good news for the weekend, rain chances continue to trend down. We knew it wouldn't be a washout, now it looks like it might just be isolated showers at best. I mean, maybe spotty. Now why is that happening? Well, if you look carefully, there is rain out there. It's down here instead of moving up here into the Carolinas. There's been a subtle shift in the warm front in the last 24 hours on where it's setting up. We thought it'd be more towards the Charlotte, Asheville, Wilmington line. It's basically about 100 miles further south and west of us. So it's still there, it's just that it's moved a little bit. So instead of seeing those showers and storms in this region, starting tonight into tomorrow, they're gonna be down in this region tonight and tomorrow and for that reason we're going to see a much lower chance of rain in fact almost near zero on saturday 20 percent both days uh, the only thing i'm worried about is really sunday because we get into this hot humid air mass right here and this is what happens we see warm humid air coming in off the atlantic this is going to be a far cry from the cool dry almost autumn like air we've had this week and that means some pop-up thunderstorms could be in the forecast as we go through the day on sunday and i'll show you what that looks like tomorrow we go into the morning hours yeah there could still be a pop-up shower it's not a zero percent chance of rain it's just probably closer to 20 percent and you get the idea look at the little spotty nature here middle of the afternoon okay don't don't look at this as a zero percent chance of rain it's more like the chance of rain is between 10 and 20 percent sunday though a different story even though the chance of rain is probably still 20 to 30 percent maybe most I think these are going to be more thunderstorms. Look at this line kind of develop east of the mountains. It's hot and humid here. These storms will drift down here. So even though it's the same rain chance, they're more likely going to be thunderstorms, which means lightning could be an issue. So you look at this and say, Brad, that doesn't look that bad. Well, here's the thing. You don't have to be under these to have lightning issues. You know, lightning strikes within 15 miles of storm. That means anywhere around that storm could be in a lightning delay for an outdoor activity. Anywhere within 20 miles of these storms, could have a lightning delay so if there's anything let's say near a festival or let's say the wells fargo championship then you could have some issues with this as it pushes through so let's take a quick look at the wells fargo championship tomorrow i think you're looking at great conditions both days maybe 20 30 percent chance uh, i'll kind of break it down a little more, more for tomorrow the best chance of a storm or the highest chance i should say is late in the afternoon if you're doing anything the strawberry festival uh we've got all kinds of uh, you know um you know, graduations going on, we've got yard sales, all that kind of stuff. Here's a look at the hour by hour. You're looking at temperatures mid 70s likely on Saturday. Um, and again, 20% chance there. Sunday, close to 80, maybe even low 80s, 20% chance of a thunderstorm there and certainly more humid. And in that vein, I wanna show you the humidity, which is gonna be creeping back up. To me, this is gonna be the story of the weekend. While there isn't gonna be a ton of rain, look at the dew points creeping into the 50s maybe even getting into the 60s as we go into sunday so right there ooh, you're starting to see some 60 degree dew points that's the kind of air that you start to feel the humidity not the super muggy stuff not the air you can wear but you'll notice this especially after a week we just had where dew points were in the teens 20s and 30s these dew points will be near 60. have a great weekend keep the poncho and umbrella handy but for the most part don't change your plans just keep an eye on the sky for a quick passing shower